get a hold of these and you're gonna have a lot of blood on your hands. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 messed up power-ups and weapons in video games. For this list, we're looking at power-ups and weapons in video games that helped us dispatch our enemies in the most screwed up fashion. We're not necessarily looking for the most brutal stuff, just items that are all kinds of effed up when you really think about it. Number 10, Power Pellet, the Pac-Man series. The oldest power-up on this list, Pac-Man has been using the power pellet to munch ghosts for decades. Most players have become so used to using it that grabbing power pellets is almost instinctive, although it becomes more disturbing than it appears once you start thinking about its effects. Think, Pac-Man can't eat the ghosts without this, which means this must be some sort of paranormal artifact that drains the life force from the ghosts. In other words, you're making their afterlife even more of a living hell. It wasn't bad enough for them to be ghosts doomed to wander mazes for eternity? Number 9. Groovatron, Ratchet & Clank series The Ratchet & Clank games have provided several options to eliminate enemies in the most creatively savage ways, but none of them really stack up against the Groovatron. This little grenade glove lets Ratchet lob disco balls, forcing enemies to stop and dance their hearts out. Charming, right? Well, how would you feel if your last moments on Earth were spent dancing against your will as you watched your deadly demise unfold? Yeah, not a goofy weapon anymore, now is it? If one had any honor, they'd let their foes put up a decent fight instead of making them do the hustle before burning them alive. Oh boy, out of ammo. Number eight, Golden Hammer. Super Smash Bros. series. Boasting more launch power than the regular hammer, the Golden Hammer has become the bane of the Smash community. Although, judging by the speed of its swing, something tells us the user isn't having a good time either. Just look at how fast they're going. You'd think that even a few seconds of using the Golden Hammer would throw out the user's back or break their arms. And yet they keep trucking along like nothing ever happened. Normal humans could get dizzy or even nauseous from moving too fast. But then again, Smash's roster consists of super-powered all-stars that jump and fight on the daily. Still, they gotta be sore the next day, right? King K. Roll wins! Number 7. Pano Glass Gun. The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. I don't like mixing business with pleasure, but I'm really going to enjoy this. Yes, the cartoon series about two kids living with the Grim Reaper got its own video game at one point, and the violence was just as savage as in the show. Players could pilot mechs, throw explosive beehives, and use a variety of weapons from Grim's chest. Of them all, the Pano Glass is the most screwed up, as users can shoot literal panes of glass at their opponents. Just think about all those shards of glass protruding from everyone's faces. Damn! How did this game get past ESRB without even reaching a T rating? If kicking butt is wrong, I don't want to be right! Number 6. Dubstep Gun. Saints Row 4. The weapons in the Saints Row series range from the wacky and immature to the go-to tools for agents of chaos. Those looking to enjoy their sadistic habits with a bit of music have probably grown fond of the dubstep gun, which is exactly what it sounds like. A gun that shoots explosive waves of dubstep music. The reason it makes this list is the fact that you're manipulating air particles at a high enough level to cause explosions. You're most likely causing many bystanders' eardrums to bleed or even explode. See the problem here? Not even the jazz version could ease the pain. Number 5. Golden Berry. A Bug's Life. The best berry of all is the gold. Find the elusive gold berry, and your enemies will trouble you no further. A Disney game being messed up? <gasps> the heresy. On the surface, A Bug's Life is just a normal 3D platformer, but there's something more sinister beneath. See, Flick has the ability to throw berries, and once he's collected the right tokens, he can throw the lethal golden berry. What's wrong with this? Listen closely. Sounds a bit fiery, right? 
Oh, watch Mojo, you're just reading it too much. Well, here's an excerpt from the game's manual. Quote, the most powerful berry. It explodes in flames when thrown. Bugs stay gone after getting hit with this one. End quote. In other words, Flick has been wielding the power of napalm in his hands and using it to burn other insects alive. Flick is an arsonist. Go, Barry! I can do some damage with this. Bye-bye, Buggy. Number four, Yen Sid's paintbrush, Epic Mickey. Had I known what events would follow, I would have locked away everything. Paint, brush, and thinner. Huh. Yeah, Disney, we're not done with you yet. As if creating the twisted world of Wasteland wasn't bad enough, Mickey manages to steal Yen Sid's paintbrush, yet again, we might add, to aid him in his journey home. While this paintbrush allows Mickey to will objects in and out of existence, its abilities are not limited to inanimate objects. Mickey can use paint to force enemies into being his friend or spray them with thinner, thus erasing them from existence. That's right, Mickey. If you can't acquire them, destroy them. Number three, Spiny Shell, AKA Blue Shell, Mario Kart series. We've all heard it before. The Spiny Shell is the most rage-inducing item in Mario Kart, a friendship destroyer, pretty much unavoidable without the horn, blah, blah, blah. We aren't gonna make ourselves a broken record here. The reason why we put the Spiny Shell on here is actually for its fiery appearance. This is a turtle shell that explodes onto carts that are most likely powered by gas or some other form of burning fuel. If Mario Kart were to get more realistic, we'd be seeing Mushroom Kingdom's residents in flames. Number two, Gurney Bomber, Twisted Metal. Special weapon available. Twisted Metal is already a franchise that's got a few screws loose. What with all the missiles, laughing clown heads, and soon-to-be roadkill pedestrians that occasionally grant health and ammo. However, when it comes to vehicles and their special weapons, Meat Wagon takes the cake as it really lives up to its name. When piloting the Ghostbusters-esque ambulance, players can launch explosive gurneys that come complete with a screaming patient strapped to them. That being said, one can't help but wonder how Meat Wagon can hold so many weapons and still have room for a seemingly endless supply of sacrificial patients. Are they all crammed between the machinery or... You know, we'd rather not find out. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Berserk, Doom series. Of all the murderous weapons Doom has to offer, from the legendary super shotgun to the makeshift blood fountain that is the chainsaw, how in the hell did the Berserk come out on top? How is Berserk the most effed up power-up slash weapon in all of gaming? In case you haven't played a Doom game, the Berserk power-up allows Doom Guy, or the Slayer, to punch demons so hard they turn into mashed viscera. You'd need an insane amount of raw strength and adrenaline to pull this off. And with all that rage flowing through you, you're probably gonna have some serious aches afterwards. In other words, nobody would win with the Berserk. Not the demons, not Doom Guy, no one. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.